Hi girls and guys, it's Mr. Tracky and we're on the right track. Now you are not seeing things, yes, Advanced Warfare is on the screen and yes, it is me playing. Now because we're talking about Sledgehammer games today, this is the particular reason why I've chose to put this footage in the background. It is a recent game, I actually played it today for the first time in a long time, dusted off the old cobwebs and we got going and it wasn't a bad game. Uh, as Marker J says, you die a lot in this game <laughs> and you really do but um i actually I, i'm not gonna lie i enjoyed myself it was nice to uh challenge myself to see if i could still keep it up on this game now today i want to speak about a couple of things but the first thing i want to speak about is a tweet uh, that i saw from michael condry and it was in regards to being able to shoot the parachute that brings in a care package now i saw this uh, tweet on twitter and thought nothing of it i thought well, that, that that's that's fair enough it makes sense however uncle thunder he posted a link to an article which actually was a conversation furthermore to that care package shooting tweet and um, i'll pop it on the screen now and basically the conversation goes on to the paratroopers and being able to shoot them out the sky so they're basically it sounds like they if you shoot their parachute they will fall to their death and then they'll be nullified i know this is an early build of the game and michael condry himself says that they're going to be tweaking things but please sledgehammer do not let this be a thing in the game we've had far too many call of duties now where the noob friendly thing just seems to ruin it for the seasoned veterans and the people that actually enjoy the game for what it originally was i don't feel that you should be able to destroy somebody's kill streak with ease because let, let, let's let's just break it down for instance that's what makes the game attractive that is what makes people want to play the game more as i stated in my last video about the uh, ball turret gunner there's nothing worse and if you go on black ops now and play a game of team deathmatch or kill confirmed you will see the introduction of launchers that shoot four rockets you can put your wraith up in the sky for literally five seconds before it's shut down it makes score streaks useless and when you make score streaks useless you don't have a call of duty game that is a fact and th there's no getting away from that fact either. Now, this is the staple reason, as I've stipulated before, why most people come over to Call of Duty. It's the addiction of getting, can I get that five streak? Can I get that seven? Can I call in the top streak on a game? Can I go 50 yard in zero? Ooh, let's have a go. These are challenges daily for people. This is why people watch Twitch, watch people's channels. This is why people come to my live streams. So please Sledgehammer, please Michael, if you're listening to this by any chance in the world, just make sure it's not a thing. While, whilst we're on that subject, don't forget to pop the dogs in as well. We, we, we all wanna see the dogs in the game. We really do. I've been looking at all the tweets you've been getting and dogs just seems to come up plenty. You've got plenty of time to pop, the, pop them in the game. Why not do it? You're on, you're on a good streak already. Don't ruin it. <laughs> and don't ruin it by letting people shoot down paratroopers. It's just pointless in my eyes. Not unless you make it a lower streak. Uh, guys, you tell me what you think in the comment section. Do you do you agree? Do you disagree? I understand that people hate getting sabotaged and people hate getting destroyed in the game. But as I've stated before, I had to learn the hard way to get into Modern Warfare 2 and learn the game. And look at me now. So I, it's not impossible for people to get better at a game. There's plenty of games out there that you have to step up to that skill level if you want to improve you there's no point just coming on the game believing that you're going to be a god that shouldn't be allowed anyway moving on i wanted to speak a bit about this whole variance thing as well there was it was another tweet again it was thunder that put it up for me in regards to uh, 
I believe it was Prestige's key. Michael Condry said that there'll be, instead of 10 weapons, there'll be multiples of, as Thunder assumed, and I agree with him, that means that there's going to be weapon variants in the game. Now, that is another reason why I'm playing Advanced Warfare today. Because this game is the game that started it all, the supply drops and the weapon variants. You can see, looking back now, it was quite a primitive system. It was definitely in the early days of its development. It was very clear to see that was there was some major balancing issues. Now, the one thing I can give Sledgehammer Games is I went on the game today and they have been supporting the shit out of Advanced Warfare even all these years later. And this is why I believe that the community will actually get listened to in regards to cer certain things that we may have certain gripes about or we may be unsure about or we think needs fixing. So in that regards, I have to give Sledgehammer their dues. The whole system of variants continued in to games like Infinite Warfare and the whole supply drop thing continued throughout Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare. But one thing I will say is progressively through the games, this is, the system has got better. I know some people are never gonna like supply drops. The fact of the matter is, if you look across all games now, micro DLCs, all that DLC transaction stuff is the norm now. We've just gone into a different generation of gaming and um, it's something that we're either gonna have to get used to or not play. And for me, it isn't a big issue anymore. I, I, I have to say, one of the best things about Infinite Warfare was actually the weapon system and the variants. They brought something nice to the table and you was able to earn many of those variants. And if Sledgehammer can get that whole Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare remastered type of system with a better drop rate, they're onto a winner. As long as you can play the game actively and your grind is actually rewarded, it will make the game a very interesting prospect guys there are many buttons you could hit but the like and subscribe button i hope they took your fancy and as always guys don't forget to stay on the right track peace